Ceci n'est pas un coin pendant. This is one of many types of copper condor trade tokens from Ireland. This one was minted in 1792. These tokens were minted to ease a coin shortage that lasted for decades. The Society of United Irishmen formed in 1791 and drew inspiration from the U.S. and French revolutions. In December of 1792, the Society circulated a call to arms titled Address to the Volunteers of Ireland. At the time of publication, Ireland was one unified state with deep divisions in political thought. The pamphlet rallied against religious and government entanglement, specifically against the crown. The address sought support from the populace for rebellions that were yet to occur. The Society was quite active in the Catholic Convention held in 1792. Many members of the Political Catholic Committee were also members of the Society. The Committee's Declaration of the Catholic Society of Dublin to promote unanimity among Irishmen and remove religious prejudices wanted to repel discriminatory penal laws that limited Irish Catholics. The Crown supported this, hoping to secure loyalty from Irish Catholics should the revolutionary winds spread to English holdings. Protestants were opposed to a Catholic and Crown connection and used political power to prevent the repeals until December 1792 when the Catholic Convention succeeded in repealing the discriminatory laws, and that is how the Irish Catholics came to be under the protection of the Protestant crown. In lighter news, do you like a good stout? We can't talk about Ireland without talking about a good stout, now can we? Way back in 1792, there was a new brewery built on an old brewery in Cork, Ireland. They were in operation until 2009. The stout they make, though, is still in production. So which stout is it? It's Beamish Stout, now produced just up the road by Heineken. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Pendant and Ring.